Hey guys, I wanted to wish you well as we move into 2024 together. And I personally have not made any resolutions for the new year. I always fail at them anyways, like pretending that I'm going to start, you know, on the first, I'm going to get on this diet. I'm going to stick to my getting up at this time every day. I'm going to do this, reach out to this many. No, I'm, I'm not doing that this year. I feel like I, during the last several months of the last year, have kind of set myself up in terms of deciding what I want, deciding how I'm going to get there and what my actions are. So I feel like I started a little bit ahead and I really just think that a year is a specified period of time that people have made up to keep everybody organized and really you can decide at any time that it's your new year so that's kind of the mindset i'm going into it with acknowledging the calendar but just continuing on <laughs> with what i've already started and since it is a significant mark on the calendar i wanted to talk a little bit about my why. Why am I doing this? Why am I creating music? Why am I creating a YouTube channel? And I've touched on this a little bit in terms of positioning my voice into the world and I will elaborate on that as time goes on. But I think that everybody on the entire planet deserves a chance to turn up, to make their voice heard, to put out their creativity and have it be received by others. Not everybody will take that chance, but I finally have decided to take mine. And I am almost 37 years old now. My birthday is in January and I don't have any shame about turning up at age 37. I know that a lot of people start much earlier in life, you know, and I think that's great. And I think they've gotten a head start on the rest of us. But I also think it's inspiring to start at 36, 37, right? Because maybe the 15 year old isn't ready to be the 20 year old novelist, pop star, business leader, they might need more time and they might look at it and say, wow, this person can do it then. I don't have to do it right now. I can wait. <laughs> or I'm just thinking if I hadn't decided to make this decision until I was 57, right? And I saw somebody else coming up at a much later time than maybe what is normal. I might think, wow, you know, I can still do it too. Look at that person over there who did that. I'm still young. I'm still only 57. I can still do it. So I think there is a place for everybody to share their voice. And I'm happy that I've made the decision to share mine. I also think that at 36, almost 37, I've had a lot of life experiences. I've actually been through a lot and I haven't shared all of that, maybe even most of that with the world. And so I think coming in at different time periods of your life, I think it provides a unique perspective, a unique view that other people can take something from. At the end of the day, I've decided the only thing I have to prove is what I can do for myself. That is the only thing that matters at this point in time, is proving to myself that I can do it, proving to myself that I can manifest what I wanna do in life. And you know, I'll find people who support my vision along the way. And so will you, as you decide to do that, or maybe you already have, and I wanna hear your story for how you manifested something at a pivotal moment in time. So I'm not really concerned with my detractors. 
I mentioned that I have some in a previous video. I'm really not concerned with them. I still thank them for sending me shade, sending me hate. I'm already good with me. I don't need their approval. I know that I will find like-minded people that I can collaborate with on a good frequency, right? And so wanted to share a little bit about my why and my perspective on why everyone deserves a chance to do what they wanna do. And I wanna send you the absolute best energy from my soul to yours into the new year. I hope that it's filled with abundance, happiness, pleasure, growth, and I look forward to talking with you again soon.